This video is now brought to you by GeekRetreat.com What is up people, Dr. Wolves is right here and welcome to a very special, we could probably say a pack opening, mainly a package pack opening. I'm right here with Tristan, he's one of the friends of the family, also a friend of mine, and we'll tell you a little story about him. Um, you can tell a, a the story. No, a PC one please. A PC one, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, one day ago. <laughs> oh, um, about, say about two years ago now? Yeah. I say, just before the pandemic happened, about 2019. Yeah. He wanted to start his uh, Pokemon collection by watching my channel, but also watching other YouTube channels. And he wanted to start his own little collection for his, was it daughter? Yeah, Elsie, my little girl. Um, just so she can have like a big massive investment in the few down the line when she gets older, probably for university, for college or anything like yeah. that. So he started small and he started quite big. Um, this is a big massive box from PSA. All graded cards. We have a prediction that I've got. I'm not quite sure on some of the predictions. I'd like to get two tens out of them. Some so nines, but some nines and tens, okay. Yeah, some nines and tens, but I'd be there's 30 cards in there. So okay. I'd be quite content with just one ten to be honest with you. And there is one card in here that I sold to you. Yes. And that is a Japanese base set one Charizard that I got from Japan in 2018 or 2017. I sold it to him for £50 and nowadays it's worth around about 150 to 160 as a raw material card. On the basis that it was a 10 as well, so if it's not a 10... If it's not a the 10, there's no difference, <laughs> but we don't know now because I'm the grade can be different. I'm teasing you. But as well, we made sure on how much money you spent on these cards yeah. for the past few years, and that is our goal to get you there. Yeah. If it's under that, I'm very. Do I can solely say I'm very sorry. Disappointed. <laughs> but if it is higher than that number, well done to you. It should be. I would like to think. I'd like to think some of the cards I've got in here are good value bargains. To be honest. Definitely. The aim is eight hundred pounds, and that's including booster boxes that he's opened up, raw cards, and also cards he's bought from other people. Yeah. So, without further ado, now I'm gonna let you do the honours. Oh, you're gonna put me on the spot here. Bloody hell! You got a license for that? Yeah, I do have a license. <laughs> right, let's get this open. Now, just let you guys know. Um, the prices that you'll see as I go through these, because I will show you the card and the grade before we see it, so you guys can be excited before we do. And literally, the prices that you'll see will be the price that it is nowadays. So if you guys are watching this later on, the prices could be different down the line, okay? So we got that. Yeah. Right. So let's see. Now let's hope they're not face, face up. Let me have a... Right, the face up. Yeah, right. Okay. You let's... turn away. You turn away because I don't want you to look at them. And I'll go ahead and pick these up really quickly. Little and bubble wrap. These down. They're all bubble wrap. So there's the first lot, face down. What, should we do the first lot? You want to take them all up? And... Well, I'll take them all out first, and then we can easily put the cards back in the box when you want to. Yeah. Now this video may be a little bit longer than you guys would expect it, but. This is a first time for me, and I can be actually excited as well, so let's hope it's just a we buzz, get... isn't it? Because every, every time we've kind of done cards, I tend to chat things through with you first, don't you? So all these cards, you're already part of the journey on, really, and if it wasn't for you, then I wouldn't even have this collection, so I hope you do get excited about it too, mate. I do excited. I will be excited because some of the cards actually did help you trying to find on the internet as well. Yeah. And plus as well, you are so met people down the line as well on getting some of these cards. Just uh, for those who don't know much about grading, I used a company called Ludkins on this time, Ludkins Grading, they've been really good. The delays have been really bad with PSA, but to be fair, they've kept me updated all the way through. So if anyone's unsure about what they would do from a grading perspective, Ludkins. Does that sound like anything? If I want to put a link down below in the yeah. description down I below? I think you'll put a link down. Put a I'll link put a link in the, in the description down below. Just make sure you send it to me today. Yes, I will. Now, first off, I'm going to try and cover this up. The first one oh, is, is an evolution an evolution Charizard. I'm going to show it to you guys first so you know the grade. What What's the got? grade do you think? Oh, a, a nine. It's a nine! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, that's that's very good. I really want a ten in one So a 2016 XMY Charizard holographic, a graded nine mint. That is a beautiful card. I'm very happy with that. Anything that's clearly obviously wrong with it. So, Slightly off centre there isn't it on there? 
it looks like it could be a probably yeah it's definitely off centered it's off -centered. Thick it's quite off. thick on both the left side and the right side so that's very nice so what card is what it we got there mate oh it's the charizard and um brazen brazen card so, so i'll show you the grade first what are your predictions on it have a guess it's cosmic eclipse so they've been getting a lot, a lot of nines and tens so i'm gonna guess say ten a ten and it's nine. nine that's oh, all right that's close. really good yeah cosmic eclipse nine yeah you can see it's off center a little bit here yeah to the top so the cut very straight the cut and the cut from the top and the bottom as well yeah so that's not just bad. At the bottom, that black line there is just a little bit off centre. Sorry, am I not in my two clothes? <laughs> a bit this is, I've never been on a YouTube before. I'm not very good at this. <laughs> but hell, you got two nines already. Two nines. This yeah. is looking good. That is looking what good. What numbers? This is another thing before we continue. What numbers do you not want? It depends. I think for the newer sets, I'm quite happy to get nines and tens. But don't when, want eights. Yeah, eights is pretty much the same kind of price raw. But then when you start looking at some of the older cards, like the, there's one here that's coming up. In that a minute, could be mine. It's slightly older, yeah. The, uh, can I look at that one first? Let's, let's look at that one first. Um, but some of the older cards, you don't mind getting a slightly lower grade. It's not. Is it's it not the, mine. Is it my Venusaur? It's Arcanine. Is it the Arcanine? All right, cool. Let's do the Arcanine. Now, I want to go a massive shout out to um, um, Mini Minter, Simon from the Sidemen, because his favourite card is Arcanine. If you are watching this, I doubt you are. This is what you could have won. <laughs> What do you think it is? I'm going to say, even though this is a card from, what, 1997-ish? Or is it too, maybe a bit uh, older? 1999, if I recall. I am going to say, I'm going to go hold out high and say it's an 8 or a 9. I'm trying to look back. I'm going to I'm gonna say a 9. You're going to say a 9? Oh, I'll spin it around. It's a 9! <laughs> That's really good. Yeah, 1999. I picked Jim that one up off eBay, and uh, I picked that up off eBay for 14.99. Wow, so that is what a steal, steal, people. That is a good steal. It, like I said, the price is down below. Oh my the key goodness. thing with that, if anyone's ever looking at eBay, it's, I know the prices are all really inflated now, but you just need to really get lots of pictures all around the edges, ask them in different lights, because that is a steal for 15 quid. Yes, I've had to pay to get it graded, but that'll be worth considerably more than that now. Also, send me the use. price as well on your um, how much you paid for the grades, so yeah. I can get all priced up too. That I'm really happy with. Really happy. And I'm wondering how many nines there is. That's something well, we can that's the thing. I can scan and tell you, I can very quickly tell you if you'd like to know that. Yeah, you can do it really so. quickly before we continue. And like I said, people, sometimes I might edit some things out, maybe not, I don't know. Depends on how I feel on the day. <laughs> so, so how many are uh, nine? So it says that one's worth about $100. I'll let you confirm. There's 399s out there and only 267 cards. Oh, yes, so that's really good. But for a 1999 card, this is in one of the top 600. So in not the world. bad though. But at the moment, three nines already. Yeah, this is a good. You can only get worth for it. I'll stick to my pile here. Yeah. So what have we got? It's got a newer back. So I'll let you tell me what it is. Charizard is it, is it a Charizard, Charizard v, v from Darkness of Blaze? Yeah. So I pack pulled this. I went to uh, I dropped uh, my daughter off back at her mum's one day. And I thought, do you know what? We've had a good little visit today. I'm going to treat myself to a Darkness of a Blaze booster pack you pulled from the that, shop. And I pulled this just from one pack. And it's got a... I'm going to say a 10. I'm going to say a 10. I'm just thinking because the amount of people have been pulling these and I rarely see 10s. I'm going to think a 9. A 9? A 10! Yes! Come on! Sick! Buzzing. So the our first 10. 10. The gem in 10. <laughs> That's it a was pristine. a good day. It That's was a, a good day. That is a pristine condition. Charizard right there. That Let's is go. An absolute highlight. Bro. That is a beautiful card. Wow, a gem mint ten. That's your first ten. That is my. And first like I said, ten. you want two tens out of the whole box. Well, a minimum. I'm just minimum. minimum. Well, well, that's your minimum. So either way, in my video, there's going to be an OFG to the max right now. So as you guys know, next one. Let's see what it is. Don't tell me what it is. It's the Mega Charizard EX. Oh, see, these are really hard to grade from when I've done my research. Because, because of the foil. The foil, yeah. I'm, I'm going to say it, I'm going to say it's an, say it's an 8, and, and some of them weren't very good when I sent them off. <sighs> Let's see. I'm not sure either, because I don't see a lot of them out there. A 9! Yeah, I'll nine. take it. Positive, that's we'll good. take that. That's really good. They're just really hard to grade because of the textured foil. The texture is going to be the hardest thing about it, but it could be the corners maybe. We don't know. Yeah. But it's just so damn difficult to, to really grade. Happy with that though. What, we're five cards in now and we've got 
four, four nines, nines and, and one ten. Yeah, so this is looking this is really good, looking people. Really good. Right, so on to the next one then. What have we got here? Shining Charmander. Shining Charmander from Hidden Fates. Hidden Fates, now, I think. this is one of my... Is it Hidden Fates? Yeah, that's Hidden Fates. So this is one of my favourite little sets here. You can get the three of them. You get the, the Charmander, the Charmeleon and the Black Chaz, which I was never lucky enough to pull. Is it? Yeah, yeah, that's Shining Fates, that. That's Shining Vault. SV6. SV. No, Shining... Um... That's Hidden Fates. No, it's, that'll be H. No, no, it's Hidden Fates, isn't it? Oh, I'll yeah, keep getting mixed up with yeah, ones. Yeah, definitely, definitely Hidden Fates. They've both got SVs. They've both ah. got SVs. But that's Hidden Fates, and they, the, it's the one with the Black Charizard from the OG set. Yeah. Which I wasn't lucky enough to pull. Um, but I'm going to throw this out there. I'm looking at the front of it now. The foil's pretty decent. It's a little bit off centre, right to left on this side. But yeah. I'm going to say. It'll be a nine. It's a nine. A nine. And it is. Very good. Good prediction. Oh. It's. Yeah, Hidden Fates, yeah. Oh, happy I was that. wrong. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Very good. I am happy Next with up. that. So, what is this one? I'm really happy with that. It's a Rainbow Rare with a boom. For Rebel Clash. I'm going to say uh, that one's a nine. Alright, so here's the grade for it. It's a Rainbow Rare, they're a lot, lot more difficult. So oh, it's a 10! Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, what a. Wow! That 2020 is... Rebel Clash. Rainbow Rare Rillaboom, that is good. A Gem Mint 10, that is your two. That is good. I like to say, people, else. there's your price right there. Oh my goodness. Anything else is a bonus. That is really good. They're really hard to grade, aren't they? With the texture, wow. the centering. So the thing with the newer cuts as well is they're really hard to get because they're rushed. They're, they're printed out on mass they're now. They're super, so super quick yeah. now. Right, well, you're pulling all the tens here, so I'm not having some good luck. What have we got here? This oh, is Reshi. That's and the um, Charizard. That's the one from them decks, weren't it? Yeah. But as well, it's from the Unbroken Bound. Unbroken Bonds, yeah. The the thing with this one as well is so you got me to buy this pack because you went into game and went to go and find it. And I was really lucky with this set because I've got one, um, got one of the boxes, and I had three of these cards in. Yeah. I went to sell two of them on eBay, and um, oh, I think I put them on for like a fiver or something. That. They went like quick. Well, they? one sold, and then the other one sold, but the guy never paid. And then I was like, I realised then at that point, everything with Charizard was worth getting graded. So yeah. this was one of the cards. There's two of them in here. It's either wow. this one or the next one that was due to be sold for a fiver on eBay, ungraded. I'm going to say it's a nine because it's packed fresh. I can't Let's see it, can't any problem. That's the back. I'm not. I think it's a ten. You think it's a ten? And it is a ten. It's a ten. We are on fire. So we've pulled three tens already. Three tens already. This is this is exciting now. This is exciting. Now wait a minute. Let's just go show the card really quick to them. Yeah, to them course, really quick, mate. so Sorry. we know the price. So there's your price for a Reshiram and Charizard Unbroken Bonds graded ten. That is unbelievable. Wow. All right. Next up, <coughs> who is it? Hidden Fates Charizard. Uh, the, the ten promo one. The ten. Oh, see, I bought a few of these. And but this thing though, tens for them. Hard hidden... to come by. They're actually not. They're quite. Oh, no, are they not? I've been seeing a lot of them on the on circuit recently. Oh, it's a ten. Nine. Oh. It's all right. It's all right. It's, it's still good. At the top, look, you see it. Yeah, look at the black line at the bottom. Yeah. Black lines well off and at the back as well. Yeah, it's quite really thick, off. Yeah. So I'm actually quite happy to get a nine on that. That's really. not bad at all though, but really, yeah. It's really off Very good people. Just, just Very showing good. on the back how bad it is at the back. The back, the centering on the top yeah. and the bottom. Very bad. So. But it's not right. It's still a nine. It's still a nine. Happy with that though. No nine eights, nine. no sevens. This right. is looking good. This is the, the, other the, one. the pair. The I'm guessing the again. It's a, chat, it's a ten again. You're going to go it's a ten. I'm going to play it safe and say nine. It is. going to be a ten again. A nine. A nine. A nine. A nine. Disappointing. Let's see if there's anything that's clearly different between the two cards. I uh, don't see anything at the front. It must be the back. Uh, the bottom is a little bit off centre com in comparison. But nothing major. It must be something under. It under must the be light. something under the light. Do you know well, what is I nice? Know, so I can't you can tell. see that you can see the serial numbers five seven six zero one seven zero one nine. So it did it right I've got, after I've it. got a nice. I've got a nice set of, uh, of of constant, consistent numbers here, which is lovely. But I can see right now, people. If you guys are following the money at the moment, do you think he's doing well? Do you think this is going to be a massive investment for his daughter for the future? I have a feeling it can be. Next up, what is it? Mega Venusaur. Mega Venusaur. Evolution. I'm going to say a, a big nine. set. Yeah, I'm going to say a nine. It's a big set. 
It looks like it. I only sent the ones away that I thought were in good condition. Yeah, I think it could be a nine as well. Let's have a looky. There it is. Nine. nine. Happy good. with that. Good, good, good. Happy good. with that. Very happy with it. Once it's a nice again, card, it's a full that. art. It's a beautiful Venusaur. It's a nice but like card. I said, though, I'm not a big massive fan of Venusaur. I'm more of a Blastoise person than a Charizard. But like I said, when it comes to cards, it's got to be a Charizard. Yeah. What have we got here? The uh, Charizard. Charizard. Burning Shadows, is that? Burning. Sh yeah, that is looks. Burning yeah, Burning Shadows, yes. Yeah. I think I paid a fiver for this card, so it's in fairly good condition. Probably a little bit off centered, maybe. Yeah. Well, let's see what it so can play, be. Play it at nine, then. Play it at a nine. So what? A ten! <laughs> <laughs> Flaming hell! Oh my goodness, this is looking good. Four tens at the moment. This three Charizards. And three Charizards. This is looking like an amazing collection to start off your career. The Pokemon collection. I know, it's, I think it should hang out retire already now. Let's leave the rest of them. Definitely not yet. Definitely not <laughs> the yet. The exciting piece is I've got another 30 cards that are away that we're waiting back as well, aren't we? This so is another Venusaur EX. Is it the same one as same this? Same one, one as that. Let's fire it out at another nine. Nine. Another nine. Good, that's <laughs> alright, that's good. You got two nines. If you really wanted to, you could sell one off and get a bit more money to buy more cards if you really want to. This is what a lot, a lot of big YouTubers do nowadays. If they have a duplicate PSA card, they'll go ahead. This is the one I'm looking forward to. If that's a flipping 10, I'll be Mega super, super, super excited. There should, should be a few of them in there. I love this guy. I, think it's really, I love it. Really nice. I prefer that one than the Charizard yeah. Mega. Yeah, it's actually nice, isn't Please it? Please be a 10. Right, and that is a 9. nine. That's alright, it's alright. That's really good. I feel, like, I feel like I'm really disappointed we're getting a 9 now that I've pulled so many 10s. But, but that's still, though, if you look at it, it's still a mint card, and then that's yeah. gem mint. I mean, it's absolutely fantastic. I, I need to probably get a bit more excited by the 9s. I feel like I'm chasing <laughs> the 10s now. I set out to have two 10s, and I've got four, and we're not even halfway through But that's yet. the thing, though, a lot, a lot of big YouTubers, though, because a, a lot of the YouTubers now, though, I'm not naming names out at all, some of them are literally really super super greedy and don't care about nines and they only want tens it's another venusaur another venusaur do you know what let's throw it out as a ten and have two nines and a ten if you get three nines That's, you can yeah, sell yeah, like you can again sell you can sell the two nines and move on it's nine. another nine another okay nine. Take, that. take that any day so we'll go put that one down below so we know we got three nines of venusaurs that's really good this is oh, this another is second mega one. charizard I've had some really good luck on those booster boxes. Come on, you know. show it to that camera really right. quickly. How much? What grade that Let, could be? Let's say. Oh, I'm not, in the, not in the middle. Uh, sometimes it can be blurry. Sometimes. Yeah, no, that's right. I'm gonna throw it out there as a nine. What are you saying? I have a feeling in my gut that could be a ten. It's a nine. Oh, I saw one of the other numbers there. I saw that. I was like, it's a ten. <laughs> it's a ten. No, it's, it's not. A ten, it's a nine. Like nine. Anything with a nine plus for a Charizard. Anything for nine. But, decent. but anything, anything but, for a nine in the evolutions pack is always great. The thing is, if every card was a PSA ten, they wouldn't be worth anything. So this is what everyone needs to remember with not with getting nines. Nines are a good grade. I think the one thing as well that a lot of people really want nowadays is ones that have unique numbers. It's like there's only three nine and uh, three ones for um, base set Charizard from base set 1, the originator, and them. people go for stupid money even though they're badly damaged. Um, which one is it? Is it me, Navia? Yeah, it's, it's you, mate. What have we got here? Mega Blastoise EX again. Oh, here we go. go. A ten. Come on, let's be a 10, baby. Please be a 10. Yes! <laughs> oh, so the only thing that we were missing is, yeah. a, is a graded 10, uh, well we need a 10 and a, a, a Charizard. We could have got, if we had that Mega Charizard and that Mega Venusaur as 10s, you would have had the amazing collection for Evolution. Yeah. Not caring about the holographic Charizard from Evolution. Yeah, that that one, if we can grade that as a 10, that would be that would be the deal breaker. Is it going to be? be amazing. Right, this is another Mega Charizard. This could be a 10, come on. Flip Let's it. hope out for a 10 Show it out for that, come on. Please be that 10, just so you can get that good collection. Nine. nine. That's all right, bro. Take a nine. You've got three Charizards got now, haven't you? have got three of them now. Three Mega Charizards. Like you said. Be underneath there, I think. Be under there. There we go. So that's looking good, though, because... You can now sell four cards if you really want to, and I'm sure you can make a good couple of money. Yeah, I'm sure, like I said, I'll leave the um, quid, the number down below, and I'll just double check it again. <laughs> There's the price. Come on. So it's just over halfway through, I'd say now. Dragonite EX for Dragonite that, EX. evolution. So I did send away one of these that wasn't that good. Um, 
and, and I, I remember selling it, uh, sending it, thinking, "Oh, I don't know why I sent that." So it, there's going to be one. It that could I be one of in, these. I reckon there's going to be one that's an eight, but if no, not, it'll be a nine. As I've just showed it, the centering is off, so this could probably be a yeah, nine. And I, I don't see any whitening. Uh, let's say this one's the eight. I'm going to say this is the nine. Oh, yeah. it is the eight. Right there, we go. There was one in there that I knew that wasn't very good. It had a little bit of whitening on the front as well. Um, yeah, I see the whitening. It's just on the edge. Literally just on the edge. That's not bad though. Yeah, it'll still be worth something. Just it's not not the same as a nine. But I was aware. But that like one. I said though, if you do get random eights and everything, like I said, you can still have your own choice. You can still you can still pull them up from the sale and everything. And if you guys really want to check these out, if you if Tristan does actually decide to sell these, please make sure you keep in touch. I'm sure he'll comment out on the video to say on um, if he is selling these, and he'll probably leave a link to the eBay channel. Yeah, yeah, we'll be selling some of them now. This hidden is fates, hidden fates, secret rare. So it's secret the birds, rare, the birds. It, sorry, I'm not even holding up for everyone to see. So it's it is the hidden, the secret rare, but it's not that secret. If you it's know not what that I mean. secret. It's, it was pulled so many times, but people love the birds. I like the birds, and I, I've got a PSA 10 of of the other two. Um, the, you know, the two main ones in the in the original set, the ones that aren't secret rare. The stained glass window one. I've not got the stained glass window. That's the promo one. I've got the, the other two. Um, uh, in yes, yes, yeah, I know. Sixty number sixty. Something. Yeah, the anyway, um, I'm getting lost on it, but I do need a ten for my collection to keep them joined up. So this one is a ten. <laughs> oh, baby, we'll take that. That's what we on now. One, two, three, four, five, six, six tens. Six tens. Six Holy tens. crap, people! This is insane. This is a good. This is a good day so far. Now, I was like I said, I've watched many, many YouTube videos. I'm sure we're showing the price right now. Yeah, I'm sure. I've seen many, many YouTube videos now, and I've not seen like small YouTubers like myself and any of the others. I've not seen any of them get this much luck before. So I would say this, this part, is the other dragon eye. This part of it with luck, but the key thing is, it's about not sending off cards that you know that aren't going to get a good grade. So you know, I know I said about that eight, and I remember reflecting, thinking, why I wouldn't send something that's damaged. Um, this that's is the dragon eye. I'm going to say that's a nine because we've had the eight. That's yeah, the nine. That's the, very good. That's really good. So there's your Happy number nine. Very good. Now this one from the back. It's Japanese. This is I Japanese. love my Japanese cards. I love my Japanese cards. So I can see there's but another that one. That one could be mine. Yeah. There's some oh, there's emojis coming These are the ones. Uh, really this one will be the uh, the the expedition base. Expedition set. base. Set. Oh, is, is that what it is? Yep. So wow. This is first edition. This is beautiful. It's a really expedition. nice card. So it's it's original. It's first edition. Picked it up off eBay. We were looking. Was it 20, 20 pounds? Twenty five. Twenty quid. Something 20, like that. Twenty five was the other one. So this one was. I think this one was twenty quid. So. Uh, this one, if it gets a grade, will be very happy with. I'm going to say it's a nine. But well, anyway, before you turn it, this is. I might just look. It's in pretty good condition. But it's Japanese new set. You know, yeah, the new look. It's not Pocket Monsters. And they're the ones that are the most easiest ones to get tens. I think this could be a ten. Let's, let's wait and see. Spin it. Oh, oh no! <laughs> it's all right. I'm happy with a nine on that. Yeah, That's but, decent. But this thing about love these type of e-series cards because back in the day when you had the Game Boy Advance, you can use these cards as the e-readers. But like I said, you had to you would risking your own card money on damaging the card because you want to use the e-readers to see what card what Pokemon you can get in the game. So that's awesome. But that's cool. Then. A graded nine for that. It I is don't know which one it could be. Actually. I don't know which one it could be. Yes. I just want to make sure it's one of my Charizards. Is that your Charizard? My Charizard, oh, I think okay, it is. Cool. It is. It is my Charizard. So I, I'm gonna. I reckon. I reckon. I reckon it's probably a six or a seven. I'd be really happy with a seven, given the fact that it's, it's the old it's, one. It's an original card from what 1996, 1997. Yeah. Well, I can see whiting. A little bit of whiting which on that side there. So I'd be happy if this is a seven. Settle with it for a six. I'd love it to be an eight, really. But if it's a seven, I can understand. But like I said, if you want to, guys, want to know, I'll tell. I've never told Tristan how much I paid for this card. So either way, I still made money. <laughs> it's seven. seven. Yes, that is. I'm really happy with that. That's, right. That's a good now, result. This I've been hidden from you for ages because I didn't want to tell you how much it was until you got this card graded. Don't tell yeah. me it was like ten quid. I sold it to you for fifty pounds. Yeah. yeah. How much did I pay for it in Japan? Probably five quid. Because they've they've produced them in mass in Japan, don't they? <laughs> I'm sorry, Tristan. Is it less than that? I paid eighty p for it. <laughs> did you? <laughs> 
if you guys want to have a look at how much I actually did pay for it, which is 100%, I paid 100 yen for That's this card. That's mad. In Mandrake, in Tokyo, in Akihabara. If you want to have a look at that video, go and have a look at it, because I actually packed a load of these, and that was the one that... Ooh! That was one of the ones that I wanted to give it to him, because the other two I knew were a bit more in good condition, but like I said, you picked... Yeah, but 50 pounds was still reasonable at the time. It was it's reasonable. At the time when you were collecting Pokemon, it wasn't anywhere near the same as what it is now. But either way, you've made money again. Yeah, oh, oh mate, don't worry, I'm not begrudging that at all. I'm, I'm happy with that, though, because I, I... Well, I wanted to I have, have, have a bit... I wanted to have a bit of drama in the channel for and it. I thought that was going <laughs> to end up as a six, so... Now, this one... Is that oh, my... Did I price that properly now? Uh, there's the price. No, is that my... Oh, this is... The Blastoise. Blastoise. Oh! So I got this. Did you, um, did you get... Have you got Venusaur as well in Japanese? Uh, I have, but it's um, in with the next round of grading because I didn't collect it till afterwards. So probably there might be a follow-up for this. Yes, there will be. So that's the Blastoise. Now, I got this and a Typhlosion from a girl on eBay um, who was really friendly. She was selling some of the cards. She lived in France. So um, I was after, originally, the CD promo Venusaur, and then saw she had this one too. So we did a deal on them, I think I paid 50 quid for... Oh no, it wasn't the CD promo, it was the Typhlosion. So I got the Typhlosion, which you'll see later, and this for about £50 combined, That's which is lucky. really good. Reveal it. So this is a... Nine! Nine. Wow. Nine. wow! That's good. That's really good. Good that for an old really school good. 1996 well, one. 1996. 25 years old, people, for a graded 9 mint. You can't complain. No, I'm just going to bash that in. On the back, for those who don't know, you've got a little, little uh, QR reader there. You can scan it, it takes you straight through to PSA's website and tells you about the cards. And what does that worth? So, uh, that's a mint 9. So there's 678 cards in that population, and there's another four, just 337. And how much is it worth? Uh, there's no price on it, Wes, so I'll have to leave you. It normally does have a price on there, but yeah. I'll have to leave it to you to yeah. do some digging and put it on there. Right, this is an, an evolution so Charizard. Oh, these are so hard to grade. I just want a 10 on this, but I'm going to say. How many did you set? I think three. You signed out three, and we've already gone through one, yeah. and that was a nine. So, so this one's an eight. I'm going to play it down, or is it nine? Nine! Oh, we'll, take <laughs> we'll take that. They're really They're hard nine. to grade because of the foil. It's the foil. It's the foil. It's quite difficult. Two right. more Japanese cards. Two more Japanese come in. So this is my Venusaur. The CD Venusaur. This is the CD promo Venusaur. So I picked this one up uh, off eBay for £26 with postage or something like that. So I knew when I got this one, I thought oh, I've got an absolute steal here. I think this could be a 10. Um, and if it is a 10, I'm going to be absolutely delighted. So it's, a, it's the OG OG being as well. I think it's off-centred, so I think it could be a 9. It is ever so slightly off-centred. 10! It's a 10! It's a 10! <laughs> yes! It's a 10, right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some stats on Oh that very my quickly. god! Oh, what year? What year was that? 1999! Oh my god! Bloody That's a hell. 10! Right, so... Um, there, oh, it's 4,000 of them! <laughs> There's 4,000 of them. I didn't think there'd be that many, but oh, I mean, a, an, an original PSA 10. So there's about 4,400 of these out there in circuit, but like I, I said, the though, whole world, though. I'm sure, though, I'm sure, though, that they still hold a great value. Oh, though. yeah, but when I was looking the other day, and I might be out, but I, I had a feeling this one might do well, um, and they were selling for about four to 500 pounds. This is the promo Charizard, the Japanese one. I just give it a. Oh, the Neo, the Neo Destiny one. Yeah. Now that one's got a bit of damage on the holofoil when I sent it. I only sent this one away because it was a Charizard. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna say a six is what I expect. A seven would be good, but if it's a five, I would say it's probably fair as well. Right. I have no idea because I own this car myself. I just kept it in a steel it's case. It's hard to grade because it's reverse foil. Because it's reverse foil. An eight. Oh, bloody hell, fire. I'm well happy with that. It's got a really king swirl in it as well. Just there, can you see? Yeah, I see the swirl. That's a beautiful card. That is an 8 reverse foil Charizard from the uh, Neo, Desti uh, Neo, Neo number Revelation. 2. Is that Japanese Destiny Neo 2. It'd know. be Neo Destiny, I think. It'd be Neo Destiny or Neo Discovery. It's one of the two. Yeah. So that's awesome. Now, this this is our final Charizard oh. from the Evo set. Oh, so this come is our final on. I'm hoping for you to get 10. I'd love a 10. I think it's going to be another 9. But we'll go from there. Too close again, am I? There we go. And it's another 9. Oh. Can't complain. You can't, complain. You, you can't you complain. complain. you really cannot. I wanted two 10s, and I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 lines. Do you want to do this together? 
like the one I've got. So of course, oh, this is like Typhlosion. What's yours gonna be? Oh no, do the Typhlosion first. Do the typhlosion. Before, we're do it together. The camera oh, glitchy cut out literally the last bit just before we flip these over to show you guys. So right now I've got a Japanese card right here. Tristan's got an English card. What were they? Right, it's a Typhlosion. And I've got the Charizard EX from the Evolution set. You wanted to show them? Yeah, you wanna go first? Alright, so I think this is worth way more than that CD PSA graded 10 Venusaur. Yeah. I think it is because it's Neo. Please be a 10. No! Oh, oh, it's a 9 you know though. I'd be really happy with an 8 on that one because it's an old card. And like I said though, Typhlosion is one of the most biggest fans, like just the same as Charizard back in the Neo, the Neo series because. The English version for Typhlosion, if it's a graded 10, it's worth thousands as it is. So I think um, Leon Hart pulled a PSA 9 Typhlosion, and it was in English, and it wasn't even first edition, and that was already going for like at least $2,000 to $3,000. So that's actually really, really darn that, good. That's really positive. I mean, I paid £25 for this from that girl in uh, the one that did the Blast Brands as well, so that's, that's £50 for both cards. That's a steal. It's got a little bit of whitening on it at the top right. I can see that, and actually the back's a little bit off-center, so it probably is a really fair grade, but to get a 9 for a card from, what, 2000 I'm really, really happy with. This card, though, is one of my absolute favourites. It's got this really cool night and day effect in, in the holofoil. I don't know if you can see it on there. It might be a little bit too hard to see with the PSA casing on, but it's an absolutely lovely card. Has it got a swirl in it as it's well? It's just a shame, though, that Pokemon have, sadly, for the past few years now, have neglected Typhlosion, because it used to be an absolutely popular card. Um, hopefully, in the, in the near future, we may get Typhlosion back yeah, for some good cards, too. but Tiny. I'm very happy with it. Tiny. We should have done these cards the other way around, but that's that's a nine because this next one now is not going to be anywhere. You do the next one, mate. It's not going to be quite the same because it's the so, uh, the evolutions one. Evolutions Charizard EX. Yeah, straight from the box. So it's either going to be a nine or a ten. I'd hope if it's an eight, I'll be very disappointed. What have we got? A, a nine. nine. That's all right. That's all right. That's good. So basically, all the nines Zards we got from evolutions are PSA nine. Very nicely indeed. I'm I'm very proud with that for you. Yeah. Now. I think it's been a really good uh, for a first for a first kind of setback from from PSA ever. I think it's been pretty good. What, yeah, we've got about twenty nines maybe. We got about twenty nines if I recall. You got about I don't remember how many tens you got. Tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. You got seven tens, which, as you guys knew, one seven was, two eight. So that's thirty. Yeah. Your tens were the Japanese CD promo Venusaur. You chose out from Hidden Darkness Ablaze. The birds from Hidden Fate Secret. Evolution Blastoise EX, Charizard GX from Burning Shadows, Unbroken Bonds Restroom and Charizard GX, and the Secret Rare Rebel Clash with the Boom V Max, which I still think is one of my favourite looking uh, Rainbow Wares from Rebel Clash besides Joe Strummer. But the but the one thing I can say though, I'm very happy with this. I'm happy with that too. I'm very happy with it. I'm happy. I'm happy with that. I'm still, I'm still surprised though that I actually picked that up in Japan, and it was, I guarantee, a seven. So I thought it was gonna be worth way less, but either way, I'm still happy. I'm definitely happy to take a seven on, on something like that. This, I think, for me, this is one of my favourite ones. Uh, I'd have to say I've got probably three favourites. I've got the Neo, ty the the Neo um, Typhlosion. I'm really happy with the uh, with with the CD promo, uh, with the CD promo. But this one, I knew was gonna be a ten because. Uh, it was off after a good day with Elsie, so yeah, that's that's going to be my favourite, my favourite one for the day, um, just for the sentimental value of it. So that one will be one that I keep. For a so very long right time. now, I'm going to give you a good shake to the hand. Yeah, thank you very much, mate. Thanks for having me This is on. the price that he has got now from all these Top PSA grey cards. Yeah, I'm certainly thinking it's a big figure now with the. I'm hundred percent sure it's a big figure. There is no way it is less than eight hundred pound. If it is, what is going on? There's like. If it has, I'm very damn sorry, yes. but I'm 100% 100 sure these are legit over £800. So, without further ado, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you smash the like button. Comment down below on what you think about these grades. Were they great? Were they unfortunate? Definitely were not unfortunate. And also... Be prepared within about another 100 days, maybe? I would say so, yeah. He's got another lot of PSA graded cards coming his way very shortly. But, once again, as you guys know, PSA have been very, very slow because of everybody submitting all their cards. So maybe we might see you again maybe around March, maybe February. 
maybe a little bit later down the road to do another one of these. So without further ado, the people I'm salute goes to you guys for subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Cheerio! See ya! I like getting these, these are nice. I don't have a clue what the volumes are, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now.